Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for Pisces for the second half of your March from the 16th to the 31st. Um, you can apply this to any replacements since this is just a general read, nothing specific. This could be in anything. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, uh, and then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, if this message resonates, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Pisces, let's get started. All right, over energies for Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for the second half of their March from the 16th to the 31st? Like I said, this could be for any of your placements. This could be in relationships, friendships, family, career, personal development, spiritual development. One of the Five of Cups and the Magician. So Gemini energy, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo. You might have those energies in your chart. You have the Two of Cups and the High Priestess. Cancer Pisces energy. Could be dealing with another Pisces or a Cancer here. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. What is going on, uh, Pisces? Seems like someone here is walking away from a relationship. Could be walking away from one relationship to be in another relationship. Seems like someone here is choosing something else here. Okay. You know, I feel like someone here rocked a relationship by choosing um, another and I feel like the relationship that you were in was going pretty well because it's in the Ten of Cups. And someone here is walking away to be in some sort of twin flame connection. So I, I'm feeling like someone here is walking into some sort of karmic here. Okay? Um, you know, I feel like, you know, someone here is really disappointed that someone here has put all their energies into this connection just to be dumped for someone else. The Five of Cups. Yeah, someone here is, I'm, it's not showing, but I'm feeling like someone here is walking into a karmic, okay? Because I already feel like if this person has walked into that karmic already, or, you know, or this twin flame connection, it's kind of like really rocky. It's already been really up and down, okay? We have the five of pentacles, the magician here. Um, it could also be a thing that this person walked into that karmic or this twin flame connection because there is some sort of money involved, okay? So I don't know if it's because you don't have money or something like that and this person, the other person has more money than you. Maybe there's something in it for them. Seems like this person is not acting based on emotion, but acting based on what they could get out of something or someone here. Tell me, tell me about the magician. We have a queen of cups. Pisces, this is you right here. Yeah, so um, you've put a lot of effort into this connection, only to be disappointed and to be left. Two of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, it seems like someone here moved on from a relationship. You know, I feel like things were really smooth sailing, like I said, but things just kind of switched, flipped, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, the way that you showed this person, lo person love and you know how nurturing you were, how caring you were. It's not enough for me. I feel uh, no enough for you, but I feel like this person was looking for more, and it was more so for like material things. Okay, that you couldn't give to this person, uh, the high priestess. I do feel like this is a very flashy individual. Okay, um, and and I feel like this person maybe needed more money to support their lifestyle. I don't know. We have the Four of Pentacles. It seems like a money thing, and I feel like this person kept it from you. Yeah, this person kept it from you. Uh, I feel like it really bothered, maybe, like, you didn't have money, and this it, it bothered this person, 
okay? So um, this might be a very lazy individual that you're dealing with here. Uh, this person, you know, might not even work. If they do work, they don't make enough money. King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. Like I said, I feel like someone here is walking away from a relationship to be with another. Um, whoever this person is, this person might have been telling you half-truths here. Because it seems like this person had a lot of feelings regarding this relationship and regarding you. They didn't say anything. Okay, I do feel like this person works really hard for their money. But I feel like this person is not making enough. Like I said, this person could be really flashy. Okay, this person might like nice clothes, nice shoes, watches, or something like that, sunglasses. Um, outcome and advice here for um, Pisces regarding this situation. I mean, there seems to be some sort of financial struggle, so you might be struggling financially here too. Okay, um, what else do we have for uh, Pisces regarding their situation for the uh, second half of the March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Sign, Saturn, any of your placements. What else does uh, Pisces need to know? Oh. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. This person is not really being completely honest with you. I feel like this person makes you feel bad because you don't make good money or that you know you might be at a i don't know these are just examples you know they could they could you know make fun of you because you're at a crappy job i don't know uh but then you know there's a bit of a double standard because i feel like this person is not at a so great job themselves yeah the sun here you know this person is definitely hiding stuff from you this person definitely tell half truths okay and i feel like you could be picking that up eight of pentacles and the queen of wands yeah it seems like they walked out on you to be with someone else this person might have uh be close to being really successful regarding their career and the money here okay um i don't know i feel like maybe this person's also um, you know, on the fun bus, on the fun train, or whatever that may be. If this person could be really exciting to your person also. Um, but I do feel like, wow, well, we have the moon uh, and the five of swords, Cancer, Pisces energy. Um, you know, Pisces, if you don't know, I feel like you all know. Because we have the sun here and the moon, um, you know, the moon is about secrets. The sun is about re being, re you know, revealing here. So I, I, I do feel like this person is walking away from a very healthy relationship or which was very healthy or that this person pretended that it was healthy and they're walking into a, 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 a seems like a karmic what I feel. Um, Tell me about the King of Swords in the reverse. We have the Four of Cups. This is an individual that gets bored really easily. The Sun. We have the Ace of Wands here. Whatever they're hiding here, they're definitely revealing it. You might have like an inkling that there's something wrong, but they're they're definitely going to reveal something to you, or that something is going to be revealed to you. Eight of Pentacles. You know, I feel like this person is going to walk away, and then something is going to be revealed. You're going to wonder why, but it, 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 the this, this secret will be revealed. Either this person is going to tell you or this third party is going to tell you. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Wow. This person's going back to an ex, which I feel. Okay? Queen of Wands, which is a karmic. Okay? Seems like they have some sort of unfinished business here. The Moon. We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy, five of swords, and the ten of wands. Seems like they're cutting things off with you to go back with a karmic, with an ex here. You will get some sort of communication as uh, as to why this person, your person is doing that, uh, Pisces. And I feel like I said, Pisces, you're a very intuitive energy. So I feel like in a way, you kind of saw it coming. You might, might not have been able to foot, put your finger on it, but I feel like somehow, I feel like you knew or that you know with the high priestess here, okay? You know, because the high priestess energy is a sense of also knowing too, 
okay? But like I said, but you can't put, you're, you're having a hard time putting your finger on it. You're trying to figure out what it is. You know, it seems like you put a lot of effort into this connection, but it seems like someone here is definitely leaving this connection with you to be with someone else, okay? So Pisces, yeah, I feel like moving forward, I feel like you might find out through, you know, maybe speaking to a therapist or something like that, or speaking to a spiritual advisor, such as a tarot reader or a psychic. Okay? So Pisces, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.